Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where we explore the fascinating world of AI image generation. Hi, this is Avinay Jaiswal from AI Dynamics. In this video, you will learn how to get the seed number of any image and use it to create a stunning consistent design. Plus, I'll be teaching you how to take any image concept from mid journey community and transform it to suit your own unique vision. So without any further ado, let's drive in right now. First, let me give you a quick overview of the seed parameter. As you know, any image you generate in mid journey starts with a random seed number. This seed number determines the visual noise that serves as a starting point for the initial images grid. It is the randomness of the seed that contributes to the uniqueness of every image you generate, even with the same prompt. However, if you attach a specific seed number to a prompt, this will ensure the starting noise will exactly be the same, resulting in similar images, thus eliminating the randomness. Now let's look at some essential commands, parameter and discord setting that you need to be familiar with before approaching this topic. Some of the technical jargon may look confusing to you, but don't worry, just follow me and everything will be clear by the end of this video. In discord, click user setting, go to privacy and safety and allow direct messages from server member. This will allow the bot to send you direct messages containing the seed or job ID of any image you generate. So command which unique job ID is used to move a job to another server or channel, receive an old job to make new variations. upscale or regenerate it with newer versions. So only works with your own jobs. Every image generated by mid journey has a unique identifier called a job ID. You can find the job ID in four different places. First, the image file name. Second, the image URL. Third, asking the bot directly and fourth from mid journey website. For this, open the image in your mid journey dashboard and copy the job ID. Go back to discord and type forward slash so and paste the job ID. To get the seed or job ID of any image that you generated, click more on the upper right corner, add reaction, type colon envelope colon in the search bar and click the envelope icon that appears. Now, if you have allowed direct messages like I shown you in the starting part of this video, you will get a DM directly from the mid journey bot, which includes the seed as well as the job ID of the image. Keep in mind that the bot will ping you only once. This means that you won't be notified if you use this method the second time for an image. Currently, the seed parameter works on images generated within 24 hours. Using it on older images will give inconsistent results. It does not work for upscale images. By this, I mean if you try to generate it again using seed parameter, the bot will give you another 4 image grid matching the prompt but not identical. Uploaded images don't have a seed value obviously unless you regenerate them by adding a prompt. This is a great way to generate consistent designs. Let me show you. Earlier today, while browsing through the community gallery, I stumbled upon this beautiful artwork. It was made by someone named Mr. Needles of Mid Journey. And I thought to myself, can I make something similar? So. Let's first directly copy the prompt and check the result. Well, this is kind of close, but can we make it even better? Turns out we can, and it's very easy. First, save the image on your desktop and upload it to Discord. Right click on the image and copy the link. Then type imagine and paste the link using Ctrl V. Now, 
copy the original image prompt by going back to it in the community gallery. Press the three dots and copy the full command. Finally, paste it after the image link. You can also instead copy the prompt, but that won't include the parameters. Wow! Do you guys see how accurate these concepts are? This is amazing. We also have the seed number now, which can be used to influence the picture according to our needs. For example, in this one, I changed the horse to an elephant. Let's go through a quick summary of how I did it. First, I generated a similar concept based on the original image. Then I got its seed by pinging the bot and pasting the prompt and the seed in Discord. And I changed the horse to elephant. And here is the result. Using the method before, you can also create consistent designs. All you need to do is just change the prompt slightly and add the original image link. We will explore this in the further video. As you can see, AI can be a great tool to quickly produce concepts based on the existing art. So, if you are looking for inspiration, why not try it out yourself? Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more contents like this. Also, if you know, want to know more about the parameter, I have explained them in great detail in this video. Make sure to check it out. See you in next video. Till then, bye-bye.